Alright guys, I am back and this time we have the tips of El Dorado, the Kickstarter edition. This is an expansion to the island of El Dorado by Daniel Aronson. Now they call themselves El Dorado Company, El Dorado Gaming Company. They have the Taco Fight live on Kickstarter now. Check that one out. Alright, so this expansion adds two playable characters. It drums up the player count to one to eight player because it adds a um, couple of things. First, they have these two characters that I already mentioned. Then they have the Steve's uh, expansion that uh, uh, another player can use or uh, let the game use uh, play it. Then we have this Titan um, where all all players can team up to beat this Titan. It also allows the game to be playable as solo. So without further ado, let's go ahead see what's inside this box. Once again, elegant design, same as the uh, base game Island of El Dorado. If you look at the side of the box, the title uh, in the front also, the text are in gold uh, letters, you can say that, I'm not sure what to call it. First things first, always you get the rule book and this rule book is thick, I think because yeah, I'm right. I've read this before. So they have combined the rule book for the first game, the base game, and the rule book for the expansion. Um, again, there are some erratas, FAQs, and other corrections uh, from the first edition. This time we have the second edition rule book, and they combined it in this expansion. That's one big plus, and I hope more uh, games do this uh, with their expansions. So you have the two parts of the rule book here, the base game and the expansion. Then the rest we have, yeah, this is the base game and this is for the thieves. Again, you can see some really nice art here, which is uh, legit uh, art, classical art from a museum. And yeah, so we have this set up for up to eight players. And we also have the hardcore mode here, official Officially added to the rulebook. Uh, before it was just up uploaded, a, P a PDF was being uploaded to the forums. Um, let's move on. Here we have the bag for the thieves and the bag for Sequoia or Yanga. Yanga. They are the two playable characters included in this game. So let's find them first. We have Sequoia, the traveler. She can use wood to buy additional explorer speed. Oh, she can uh, spend one wood to move. Uh, the other one, Yanga the Ranger, she may attack from two tiles away with no risk of defeat. Wow, seriously? This is. I don't know if this is overpowered. But uh, anyway, this is, this is really good to stop the player from, you know, just running to the shrine and doing an offering. Next, let's go and look at the Thieves expansion. I really love the gold uh, design on some of the components here, especially in the box. It really gives this elegant feel and this exploration, treasure, finding treasure is, you know, this is what I love in this game. This is the player, player board for the Thieves. This is how they uh, have to spend their resources gold and even the gold here is really uh, it's really cool it's shiny glossy so wait and collect the Taolun or buy hideout and flip this card over that's uh, their options then we have a rule for the cave so you have this dwellers wolf strength one I think this is just a reference for uh, for the players so they have an idea what's what to expect in the cave so we have we also have the breach exp uh, breach here. This is another rule. Um, I'm not sure what it does in the game, but I remember that it connects. Um, it it allows you to put this breach on top of a water tile, so you can just cross that water tile. So it's just a simple addition to the game, but it 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 might have a big effect on some strategy uh, during the game. So. Um, Let's move on to the dice. These are all uh, gold dice, golden dice, but not metallic. 
this is I think for use uh, with the thieves so you have six of these nice quality same as the first uh, first edition of the, of the base game so that's nice these are your thieves of El Dorado let's have a look at it have a look at them so this is their hideout it's all in gold uh, coating gold coated but it's still wood so this is their hideout and these are these are the thieves your thieves of El Dorado this one crouching sneaking this one looks like a rogue holding a dagger a female rogue holding a dagger Another one. So they have, they are four uh, meeples for the thieves and one hideout. I believe this this game also comes with golden uh, coins for the thieves. Um, we also have this red die over here. This is for the titan, I believe so. Still one, two. Uh, but yeah, that's red and we have what do we have here? We have some circular tokens here This is a wolf token Then we have two more circular disc token here Let's look at these playable characters Color purple. This is the purple player So we have her I think this is the ranger or the explorer the traveler. Sorry, and this is the ranger and it really stands up it's almost uh, it can be treated as a miniature as well so this is really nice um, if you look closely on my copy we have some damage on our meeple it's easy to fix I can just paint that uh, with my acrylic paint as uh, purple so no problem with that one so we have those miniatures aside then this is their fort fortress fort um, then we have um, the rest of their components we have their farmhouses their shrines uh, their offerings sorry then we have their villagers should be here yeah it also comes with additional villagers I think this is for the team play or free for all cooperative I'm not sure but they uh, included additional villagers for each player then we have these tokens for the thieves but this also includes the shrine so once you get this one you can bring it with your adventures and just show them that you have this shrine this altar or whatever you call this a chalice or a fountain of youth I don't know but this is really awesome I, I, I just have some black I don't know if this is a design it's part of the design or a damage on my uh, component but still it looks really great we have some outposts here, I think this is for the thieves. Then this is for the offering of the thieves. So these are gold coated, just like the rest of the thieves um, components. Alright, so these are the coins. This is metal coins. And you have custom design here on the Blon El Dorado. And then we have this bigger, uh, with, with larger tokens. It's just a reminder to get plus one resource per turn. I think these are also for the thieves. I, I'm not sure though. One speed per turn, and we have the horse on the other side. This one we have, you know, I think this is an explorer or a conquistador on the other side. And on the other, you may reroll one battle die per battle. So these are just special effects. We have one strength, but Uh, uh, the back. I think this is a curse. You get stronger, but you, you, you move slower. One resource per turn at the back, you have this flower. So, those are all our metallic tokens. What else have we not looked into yet? Oh, yeah. This is the Titan. Prepare your, your eyes. We have the Titan that walks the island of El Dorado. So this is really large. Com let's compare it with another character. So this is your, your regular character. So you are just half the size 
of this huge me uh, meeple is wooden and the way it looks is um it's it's a bald giant with just you know spikes uh protruding from its shoulder and other parts of its body i think it's holding a ship on this uh, on its right hand so that's how large he is so that's really a titan roaming around so i'm not going to put it back in its uh zip, lock, zip bag because it fits here in its insert perfectly um, we also have additional black dye here it's five pieces regular black dye of Eldorado it, it shows black one and two so we are receiving five of those then we have this dye um, I think this is for I'm not sure if this is for the thieves it shows six one four three and five two so all of it equals to seven but I don't I'm not sure how this is used in the game um, anyway that's it Next, let's look at our uh, tiles, cave tiles. So all of these tiles are for the cave and some of it corresponds to this token. So let's have a look at it. So we have this uh, first tile would be our cave in. Then we have uh, a wolf here with a strength of one. I think this wolf can be, um, I think this is the one. This wolf can be tamed. Uh, I think I've read that before. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure if I remember correctly, but you can tame this wolf to be your friend. This is the wolf's meeple, by the way. It's really cute. So we have the wolf. We have the secret exit. This is really nice. Once you found, you find the the cave shrine, and you plan to go uh, out of the cave, but other players are blocking the entrance. If you find the secret exit then you are safe. So that is the secret exit. Then we have the Cursed cursed Treasure of Cortez. I think this is the one that corresponds to it. Secret Treasure of Cortez. So if you find this cave shrine, as you cave tile, you get this effect. We have Bavieca, Legendary Horse, and you get this one. Then we have Totex Garden, and I think this is the one with resources. Um, this one, resources. Great. Then we have Army of Jimenez. Oh, wow, that art. I can post this on my wall and just admire the beauty of this art. Anyway, this is Army of Jimenez and you get, what you get for this one? You get this one. That's additional. Uh, you made it all to bad. Then we have the Titan. This huge, me, uh, YouTube people over here is this one so that's how it looks like and it has six strength lastly we have Raleigh's golden rose those are our new cave tiles so the game just got more interesting before players just go to the game uh, by the end of the game just to get the final shrine now players will have a reason a whole new reason to go into the cave because of these new tokens and other effects so really nice it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be great so i guess that's it that's all of what we have for the thieves of el dorado expansion that's all of the components i want to say good job to the team then daniel aronson and the team of el dorado game it's really wonderful product uh, production quality elegance of the design and even adding these multiple game modes team battle solo cooperative free for all everything is in this game i am, i really love this one i'm in love with this game and this is gonna be one of my favorite game all right enough about that this is the board game hero thank you for watching see you again next